Hey there, Aries. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. If it fits your situation, take it. If not, try a different message. We're going to start with messages of love oracle cards. For Aries, please and thank you, Spirit. Forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you to move forward. Actually, I kind of think that's the only one we need for you guys. Uh, we're going to use the Light Seer's Tarot. See why forgiveness came up for you. For Aries, please and thank you, Spirit. Wow, Six of Wands, Injustice. Wow, Ace of Swords. So you have absolutely forgiven yourself or another here. Both, even. The Moon. The Queen of Wands. And the Magician. I think you came to terms with something, someone... Um, you both made mistakes here. You both said things, right? But um, you are letting it go. You're dropping it here, Aries. Um, could be dealing with a cancer. That's also Aries, isn't it? Aries, Cancer, Virgo, Gemini. I think you're sending someone love and light. Sending good vibrations. Hoping that they get over it as well. Also enjoying this feeling of being able to move forward. Yeah, coming out of rough waters. <clears throat> coming into a more calm energy. Because you no longer have this frustration upsetting you. Page of Swords and the Strength. Star, Judgment, Herald Font, Death, Rebirth. That's a lot of major arcana. I'm taking them all. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You could um, be a tarot reader yourself, but really you just have a big heart. You have a really big heart here, and that's what you're doing. You're being the bigger person. You're doing what's right, and um, you're hoping to send them the same strength and wisdom that you have acquired from this situation. You want them to be able to rise above this just as you have. You want good things for them, even if you don't want them to be a part of your life anymore. And a lot of you do not, which is fine. That's totally fine. You don't have to want somebody to come back in in order to receive forgiveness, give forgiveness, make peace with the situation, right? You may or may not reach out to this person. It's kind of iffy. Some of you will reach out to them and let them know. Um, you know, I'm actually getting a situation where in school when you guys were children, somebody could have been a bully. Somebody could have done some uh, picking on. So don't be surprised if you get a random message from, you know, your, your high school bully or elementary school bully that's saying, uh, hey, I know this is like forever ago, but I am sorry for the way that I treated you. It was wrong. And I was a little brat, and I'm sorry, and if it makes any difference, which it probably won't. But um, expect some kind of a message like that from this person. I'm really getting Facebook vibes with that, but email is, is also a thing too. So either way, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you're, you're claiming your independence from this situation. We're just going to allow you to receive things that you're meant to receive. This feels like nothing. Like you might even not, you might not even have the right person or they might not even remember. But it feels really good when you, when you are able to release this. It's almost just like stagnant residual energy that never got that final flush, that final wipe, that final, I don't know, that final touch, the final apology or whatever it is, right? But I, I really see this coming to an end for you guys. I, I like it. There's confirmation here if you've already done this. 
or if you're thinking about doing this. You might also be hearing from someone that you haven't heard from in a while. They're, um, they're happy for you. I feel like you've had a recent success. And somebody's going to reach out. I'm so happy for you. Look at you out here living life. Yeah. There's a congratulatory energy around you as well. We have, what's this? The Empress, the Page of Wands. Two of Pentacles. It really is. It's a toss-up on whether or not this is going to be a face-to-face -face conversation. Bagheera, please don't start. I do have two pages, though. Two or more pages can indicate a face-to-face -face conversation. But yeah, somebody's kind of back and forth. It could be you in, in this forgiveness, this unconditional love, right? This could also just be you back and forth on whether or not to accept the apology. It just really depends on your situation. For some of you guys, I'm actually getting like a group of girls, women, getting back together. Could even be in a family setting or a friend group. I wonder what Venus is doing astrologically right now. Because I kind of feel like that has a factor to play in this. And... I'm still getting back caught up um, after getting back from vacation on the readings. So I haven't had a lot of time to study the, the placements yet. So if you guys know, put it in the comments. Because I, do, I definitely feel like there's something going on with Venus that is highlighting all of this. Maybe you just have Libra rising or this person does. Because there is a lot of Libra energy here, Aries. That is your natural opposite, too. They say Libras and Aries make some of the best friends, partners, um, business, co-owning, anything. But yeah, there's some forgiveness here. We've got Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Virgo, Gemini, Cancer, Libra, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, and Scorpio, Ten of Swords, and an Alpha. There's a lot wrapping up. I'm telling you, this is like, like the top of the fridge. How often do we actually think to wipe off the top of our fridge? Did you see his ear go back? That says it all. It's like that. It's something that you forgot it was even a thing or somebody forgot that even happened. Or, And then the Ten of Swords is, you know, ease with walking away from something. No longer letting these thoughts clutter your mind space. Living rent-free. Yep, Knight of Pentacles. Something that's just been stagnant waiting is now getting cleared out. And there's blessings being sprinkled along the way as you go. Some of you work with dragons and ley lines. Oh yeah, especially Knight of Swords. Somebody could even ride motorcycles. Or something with a farm. Horseback riding. And even getting people to have dogs. birds paying attention to birds around your house specifically your house or business if this is a work reading for you work related oh look at that big yawn well guys you can add virgo and gemini to that list but i'm going to go ahead and leave this one here i hope this helps who it needs to how it needs to i love you guys and i will see you when i see you until then stay beautiful